roughly have lived here 72 years. I graduated from Cuba in 1954. That's 70 years, at least that. I decided California was not the place to raise them. We moved out here 20 years ago. You'll find people that'll figure out a way to go to Belleville for grocery. In 10 minutes you're in Belleville to eat. So we do none of our shopping here at Cuba. There's only two grocery stores in Republic County, one's here in Cuba and one's in Belleville. Fresh fruits and vegetables is what I miss here in Cuba the most. You know, and it's growth or when it, at the turn of the century, Cuba probably had 600 people. And uh, when I was growing up, we talked in terms of 300. And now we're talking in terms of maybe 100 or whatever. There's a lot of people can't drive, and Cuba, well, like I'm 70 years old, there's quite a f few people my age and uh, don't necessarily commute as much as, you know, your younger generation. They have transportation for the seniors uh, from Belleville or for Republic County and you have to let them know if you want to ride the bus mm -hmm. and they would come and pick you up and bring you back. It was time to get my driver's license so I went in to take my test and I couldn't pass it. I was I, going blind in one eye. The, the lady that was given the test, she suggested I get a golf cart. back the owner and his wife well the owner had passed away and so his wife had running it been running it for the last two and a half three years and she was getting to the point it was just getting to be too much for her so I was working at Dollar General at the time and I kind of had it in the back of my mind and didn't know if it was really something I wanted to do and I talked to several people and she said I'm closing it if nobody's interested in buying it and I gave it a lot of thought and knew I didn't have the money to do it, but I realized that if you close this store, it would close this town. So uh, I'm just always thankful that I can walk into the store, get what I need. If it's 50 cents or whatever, whatever variation you want to put in it, so what? We're thankful to have a store. I tell people, you don't have to buy everything from me. I didn't, when I didn't own the store. You know, I buy, we have the best meat around, so I've always bought meat. I tried to buy the specials. I tried to buy as much as I could here. We do none of our shopping here at Cuba. And so we do most of ours. We go to Aldi's and Sam's. And I, I don't expect people to buy everything, but buy something. Um, I know when I went to the Rural Grocery Summit they had in Manhattan earlier this year, my daughter and I went to, fresh fruits and vegetables was their big push. But I have no way of keeping it fresh and in good shape because my produce cooler is about shot. Well, we like to shop local. We'll shop here in Cuba, I shop in Belleville, and uh, and I raise a lot of our own food. Asparagus, a lot of asparagus plants and uh, rhubarb plants, and I also do, or did, uh, 
farmer's market. And then now people know that uh, we have that, so they'll just call me and, and I can sell them however much they need. And we have a huge garden. We plant sweet corn, uh, peppers, tomatoes, melons. We plant about six to 700 onions a year. And we have started cutting back, thank goodness, because we're getting old. And a lot of people have tried to get us to go to the farmer's market, but we won't. I will not sell my stuff. I buy everything I can. And then, of course, people have gardens and they're always donating. Yeah. They're giving you things. That guy that was sitting there talking to us, they gave us, they gave me so much. She is a precious lady. And we love giving stuff to her. There's people that are here, that I think, that have heart and care and consideration and thought. We live in a different town because people, we do care all about each other. You know, if somebody's sick or if somebody passes away or something happens, believe me, everybody pitches in and helps. I don't know, I just would hate to leave this town.